Hey guys, this is the video that you have been requesting for long. You are going to see the clash of titans. It is the ultimate comparison between Toronto and Montreal. Okay, I am done with the build up of this video but truly speaking this video would be really helpful for those who want to decide which city is better for them as in this video we will be comparing these two cities based on various factors such as cost of living, weather, job sectors, people and languages, geography, crime rate, transport and there are so many other factors as well. So if you are interested, stay tuned. Before we start discussing it, I want to thank ShopTop5 for sponsoring this video. It's the number one app for price comparison in Canada. This app is available in 14 different languages. So if I select English, it would give me top categories. There are many other categories as well. You can also select it by stores. It compares the prices across 100 different stores across Canada. You can also shop by brands. So let's say if I actually want to go along to shop a Fitbit smartwatch, and I like black one so if I want to go with this one so if I want to go to Amazon and then you can click over here and you can buy it right then and there so I suggest you download this app as soon as possible to save a lot of money if you are here in Canada okay so let's start this video I think it is very important for you to know the geography of these two cities so let's start with the geography first of all and then we will proceed further so this is the map of uh, Canada and Toronto is there towards the south of Ontario while Montreal is towards the south of Quebec. They are not very far, just 5 hours drive apart from each other but still they are a lot different from each other. While Toronto is the largest city of Canada, Montreal is the second largest city and at the same time Toronto is the largest city of Ontario while Montreal is the largest city of Quebec. Toronto is bounded by Lake Ontario from the south and by Humber, Don and Rough Rivers from the other side. While Montreal is bounded between the St. Lawrence River to its south and the River des Pères to its north. The land of Toronto is mostly flat while for Montreal it is hilly as well. If you are a beach person, in that case you would definitely love Toronto because of its Lake Ontario's beautiful beaches. While Montreal doesn't have beaches but it does have mountains. So if you are a mountain lover, you are gonna love the mountains around Montreal which you won't get to see around Toronto. So if you are a beach person, you are gonna love Toronto. If you are a mountain person, you are gonna love Montreal. Having said that, I guess that was enough about the geography. It's not a geography class. Let's proceed further to the next point. Alright, now let's talk about the weather. If you talk about Canada, it is definitely important to talk about the weather because the cold temperatures can get really really harsh in Canada. Talking about the two cities that we want to compare, Toronto and Montreal. So here is the graph which is a very descriptive graph from weatherandclimate.com. Here they have mentioned the average minimum and maximum temperatures in both of these cities across the 12 months. So you would see that the average minimum temperature in Toronto is something around 7-8 degrees while in Montreal it's around minus 12 degrees. Similarly you would see that graph going up but still regularly the average minimum temperature in Toronto is definitely better than in Montreal. Even if you look towards the y-axis you would see that the temperature markings are different. So the minimum temperature marked in Toronto is minus 10 while in Montreal it is minus 20 degrees. It is basically because of the harsher climate of uh, Montreal. It's not that harsh but still in comparison to Toronto it's a bit harsher. Okay moving on, moving on to the next point which is the population safety. Now Canada is a country of immigrants. You would see people from all over the world moving over to these two cities. So talking of Toronto and Montreal, you would see the population of Toronto is 50% Canadian, 12% South Asian, 11% Chinese and 5% Filipino. The population density is around 4000 people per square kilometer. The exact figure of population density won't interest you much but the figures about the number of immigrants or the percentage of immigrants it is definitely interesting. Because this is according to the 2016 census 
and since then Canada has got a lot of immigrants and most of them go to Toronto. So according to an article that I read some time back, the percentage of immigrants in uh, Toronto has got over 50%. So in a way you can say that it is a city of immigrants now. Talking about Montreal, over there you would find that the French and Italian population is around 33%. Other European like uh, Scotland, uh, English, they're around 15%. Africans are around 9%. Arab and Latin Americans 11 and then South Asians and Chinese are around 6% in Montreal. Now talking about the population density, it is good to compare that you would find more people in Montreal than in Toronto. So Montreal is slightly more densely populated than Toronto. However, talking about the immigrants, it has got almost half the number of immigrants than Toronto. Again, these are the details from the 2016 census. We are about to hit 2020 and these statistics are definitely ought to change. Okay, now let's talk about the crime rate. Obviously, we want to talk about the safety because we are very concerned about our family safety, right? Okay, talking about Toronto, the crime index is Toronto is about 38 while the safety index is 61. And for Montreal, the crime index is 28 while the safety index is 71. So clearly you see Montreal is much more safer than Toronto. Now this is just a basic comparison between these two cities but to understand the this index actually we need to compare this index with uh, cities like Mumbai and Karachi. So in Mumbai we do have the crime index of 42 and the safety index is 57 while in Karachi the crime index is 55 and the safety index is 44. So obviously you see that both Toronto and Montreal are much safer than Mumbai and Karachi but at the same time Montreal is much more safer than Toronto. Okay, once we have talked about the people, now let's talk about the language they speak. So there's a wide difference while we talk of Toronto and Montreal. Because in Toronto, around 64% of the people speak English in their homes, while there are other people who speak 200 other languages and that constitutes for around 36% of that population. While for Montreal, the French speaking people are around 70% while the English is around 14% and the other languages is around 16 people. So French is the most spoken language in Montreal and in the rest of Quebec as well. Okay, now we can talk about the different job sectors in the two cities. And why only job sectors? We'll also talk about the average salaries per month in both of these cities. Okay, starting with the job sectors, there are prominent jobs available in Toronto in these fields. Technology, financial services, fashion, life sciences, design, music and film, aerospace, food and beverage, tourism and events. While Montreal has enough jobs for aerospace, electronic goods, pharmaceuticals, printed goods, software engineering, telecommunications, textile, apparel, manufacturing, tobacco, tourism and transportation. Okay, talking about the distribution of salaries, I'm sure many of you would be interested in this. So this is a very interesting analysis from salaryexplorer.com and you would see that more over the distribution of salaries which is the average monthly salary is pretty similar for both of these cities. So if you see the maximum salary, God knows who gets that kind of a salary, $30,000 per month. But if we talk about the minimum salary, that is also very similar. Uh, both the maximum and minimum salaries are pretty similar. Talking of the median salary, it's slightly higher in case of Montreal. But moreover, both of them are very, very similar if we talk about the distribution of salaries both in Montreal and Toronto. Alright, now let's discuss the cost of living in Toronto versus Montreal. I'm pretty sure many of you would be interested in this particular section and in knowing which city is cheaper. Okay guys, this is numbia.com where you can find very useful information about almost any city you want in the world. We'll do the cost of living comparison between Toronto and Montreal. So you can see that the consumer prices in Montreal are about 15% lower than Toronto. The consumer prices including rent are around 26% lower which is a good amount. Rent prices are around 45% lower in Montreal than in Toronto. 
and accordingly we can see that the grocery prices are also lower if you want to check the details you can see that uh, a meal in an inexpensive restaurant would cost you $20 in Toronto while in Montreal it would only be $15 similarly you can find the details of uh, you know small things like apples bananas uh, maybe some vegetables or maybe a bottle of water it would cost you actually more in Montreal but lesser in Toronto similarly you can see that about the transportation as well one-way ticket would actually cost you more in uh, Montreal than in Toronto similarly about the basic utilities so basic utility you would actually pay much more in Toronto than in Montreal similarly other things as well like childcare so for full day childcare monthly you would pay around fifteen hundred dollars for one child in Toronto while you would pay just around six hundred fifty dollars in Montreal so you'd save a lot of money if you're living in Montreal looking at the rents rent are going sky high in Toronto these days but they are very much in control in Montreal so a one bedroom apartment in city center would cost you something like two thousand one hundred fifty dollars while in uh, Montreal it would just cost you around twelve fifty dollars which is approximately forty two to forty three percent lower so you would be saving a lot of money if you're actually living in Montreal now let's see the property prices as well this would be very interesting to see we can easily see that Montreal is much cheaper we've already talked about the rents let's see the prices of apartments so it's just a random comparison Something that would cost you around eleven thousand dollars in uh, in Toronto would actually cost you almost half the amount in Montreal. So this is the price per square meter to buy an apartment in the city center. So obviously you can see that Montreal is much cheaper. However, the average monthly net salary after tax in Toronto is a bit higher, but still looking at the cheaper prices of uh, groceries, of rents, of utilities. It is definitely more economical to live a life in Montreal. Okay, taking our discussion over to transportation. What kind of public transport do these cities have to offer? Okay, talking of both of these cities, both Toronto and Montreal actually have public buses and which can be tracked through your apps like Google Maps, uh, your Apple Maps. It can also track the timings of... Uh, the metro trains so both of these cities actually have got uh, metro transport and for that the timings in Toronto is 6 a.m. until 1.30 a.m. while for Montreal it's from 5.30 a.m. to 1 a.m. to commute from one city to the another both have got train connectivity as well now Toronto has a little edge over Montreal because it has got street cars as well but in Montreal there are no street cars as of now now talking of the airports, so Toronto has got two airports. One airport is the Toronto uh, Pearson International Airport which is basically for all the international flights coming over to uh, Toronto and then there is one local airport as well which connects uh, the other cities of Toronto and the US cities as well. While in Montreal there are two airports as well and there is one airport which is also very close to Montreal so you can consider three airports in Montreal now talking of the ferry services now because of the rivers and the lakes that these cities actually have they do have ferry services being offered which can take you to different islands you can take your bicycles even in there so it's very convenient okay so that was all the information that I wanted to convey through this video I'm pretty sure someone would give weightage to one factor over another so it would ultimately be your decision that you want to live in Montreal or you want to live in Toronto basically both of the cities are awesome cities they are the tier 1 cities and I can promise you would love living in both of these cities so thank you guys for watching this video if you like the video please click the like button and yes if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video